Hello students, now we will discuss about excretory system of cockroach. So cockroaches, they excrete uric acid means the waste material from their body is uric acid. So they are called as uricotelic animals. Cockroaches excrete waste material in form of uric acid, so called as uricotelic animals. There are many structures that support excretion in cockroach. Some of them are malpighian tubules, fat bodies, uricose glands and also nephrocytes. The structures that function in excretion of uric acid are First one, priority goes to malpighian tubules. Second one, fat bodies. Third one, uricose glands. Fourth one, nephrocytes. Even Cuticle also supports in excretion. So we can write fifth type is cuticle. Fat bodies also called as urate cells. Uricose glands also called as utriculite glands that are a part of mushroom glands in male cockroach which excrete uric acid during copulation. Uricose glands, also called as utriculite glands, that excrete urea, sorry, uric acid during copulation. Nephrocytes are amoeboid type of cells. <coughs> These malpighian tubules are 6 to 8 bundles in a number. They are located at the junction of mid-gut and hind-gut. So when we are drawing about mid-gut and hind-gut, So, if this is mid-gut, this is hind-gut, now we can label this one as malpighian tubules. Marcello malpighi Marcello malpighi He described these malpighian tubules as vasa varicosa. He did not give the name yet. Describe malpighian tubules vasa varicosa. <coughs> but other person called as Meckel.
Meckel gave the term as Malpighian tubules. These Malpighian tubules, they open into They are freely present in hemolin, but not open into hemolin. Their free end is just dispersed in the hemolin. We know that the blood, total blood part uh, in cockroach is called as hemolin. So, They are called as blind sacs. Sac ends. Means this area is dispersed into the hemolymph, but it is not opened into. Whatever the material that is present in the hemolymph as waste material that is diffused into the lumen of Malpighian tubules. The lumen means the middle part. The lumen of Malpighian tubules. is like brush powder. <coughs> this part, this end which is freely dispersed into the hemolymph is said as distal end. And the part that is near to the midgut, this end is called as proximal end. So now, distal end is said as the secretory end, proximal end is said as absorptive end. Is secretory in nature, proximal end is absorptive in nature. Next, <clears throat> what does it mean by secretory in nature and absorptive in nature? Here, whatever the waste material is there that is diffused into the Malpighian tubules. Water, next up, CO2, waste material, potassium, murate. As waste material, those are diffused into the lumen of the Malpighian tubules. So they will be moving this side. But in that, if water is present, water is necessary for the body of cockroach. So again, from the proximal end, water is again diffused back into the hemolymph. So here we will put other arrow mark. This means that these are absorptive in nature back to the body. Absorptive in nature back to the body. Along with water, some of the substances like which is CO3 minus bicarbonates, potassium bicarbonates are diffused back into the body to regain the lost water. Means by the time it is reaching into the first part of hindgut, which is called as ileum, which is called as ileum. Most of the water is already, uh, means absorbed back into the body. So by the time it is coming here, only little bit of water will be left over, which is again more reabsorbed back to the body at the point of rectum. We will see, we have seen here, uh, 6 to 8 bundles of uh, uh, Malpighian tubules are present. Now, totally there will be approximately 150 to 200 tubules, Malpighian tubules. And each bundle will be having approximately 15 to 25 number of Malpighian tubules. So, each bundle, out of 6 to 8, each bundle will be having 15 to 25 Malpighian tubules. So these Malpighian tubules, we have used a term like, uh, these are brush bordered epithelium. So we will just give a diagrammatic representation for that. If this is the Malpighian tubules, this will be the epithelial cells. 
section cutting. We can say this is the section cutting of multi-ligand tubule. Transverse section cutting. So we can mention those brush bordered epithelium like, like this. Roughly. Approximately we can say those are mainly useful for filtering of the useful products and excretion of the waste material. And also they also support in holding of the water which has to be reabsorbed back to the body. So, waste material from Malpighian tubules it will be moved into it will be moving into ileum part. In case of hindgut, the first part is called ileum. By the time of reaching into ileum, most of the water is absorbed. From there, it will be moving into colon. Here, little bit of water will be absorbed from colon to rectum. Here, most of the water, whatever is present in the waste material will be reabsorbed back to the body. Water reabsorbed back to body. So, what happens? The waste material now will be in purely in the form of uric acid pellets which are ready for uh, excretion. So, here we can say at the rectum region, there will be more conservation of water back to the body. So, next, purely dry uric acid pellets are excreted out. So, these are mostly the important points related to malpighian tubules. Next one is about fat bodies. Fat bodies are also called as urate bodies or urate cells. So, also called urate bodies or urate cells. Now, when uric acid is accumulated in these fat bodies or urate bodies, then they will get deposited beneath the exoskeleton which will be removed during the shedding or molting step. So, we know that cockroach is having pergo, sternum, pleura, which are attached by arthroidal membranes. Now, what happens? These fat bodies, actually they are yellowish in color. So, but I have only green color sketch. So, when uric acid is accumulated in the fat bodies of carpora adiposa cells. Now, then what happens? When bodies nitrogenous waste is more, they get deposited within the fat bodies, which are also called as urate cells or urate bodies also. Now, think that this green color one, it actually its color will be yellowish in color. Then all, when more num account, amount of uh, waste material is deposited like this in the form of fat bodies with the uric acid. So, we can say these are urate bodies or fat bodies with the uric acid. Now, along with the, during the shedding time, this also will be removed as waste material. So, during shedding or molting of exoskeleton, this urate bodies with uric acid are removed. Now, next coming to uricose glands which are also called as utriculi glands or utriculi majoris. Also called Utriculi majoris. These are special type of structures, long slender structures that are present in the mushroom glands. These are long slender structures of 
mushroom glands. These are present in male cockroach and they remove waste material by accumulating uric acid within them only during copulation. They remove or excrete uric acid during copulation. They are present in male cockroach. Next about nephrocytes. Nephrocytes are some amoeboid uh, shaped cells. Amoeboid like cells. They remove waste material with the help of cuticle. So here cuticle. This is the one you will write about cuticle. So nitrogenous waste, they become accumulated or deposited on the inner side of the cuticle. So here we can see in these areas. So that cuticle, it will be shedded just like exoskeleton and the waste materials are removed. When nitrogenous waste accumulates on inner side of cuticle then during molting the uric acid is removed from body. So these are some of the important structures that function in excretion in cockroach.